Good afternoon to all. I am delighted to be here. It's really hard to talk after Mr. Minister, but I'll try. I came to tell you secrets. In fact, in my pockets, there is a tool, a solution to conquer the world. These are glasses. So you may say, what is he saying? But in fact, this is wonderful because in the society, it's important to see well. That's how you can learn, how you can develop social links, how you can work and be productive. So it's really important. And 4,700 people on Earth have um, sight impairments, yet only 2 billion people have glasses. So it's really important for progress, for human well-being. And when you don't see well, when um, you are short-sighted, for example, it costs a lot to governments. It, co it costs um, several hundred billions dollars. But that's not what I'll be talking about. I'll be talking that the United Nations themselves are saying that we have some responsibility in making sure that people can see. And I talked about that with my wife 21 years ago when our third child, Eloise, who was four or five at the time, uh, came back from school. Uh, she she strugg struggled reading and her teacher was on her back. She couldn't understand because our two elder um, child were good at school and she told us maybe you should um, bring her to the doctor. And we realized that she couldn't see properly. She was astigmatic. And so the main conquest I'd like to be talking about today is the conquest for a good sight. And that's the focus of a group called Silonix Atika, who's based in France, um, with the headquarter in Paris. And it mixes two European um, savoir-faire know-how um, in glasses, in the frames and in the glass. And we've created a leader, a European leader on this field. A group that uh, and that doesn't happen often European. is uh, really a worldwide leader. It's a European group and it's a worldwide leader. And that's not something that you see quite often. So that was our group. And there was, uh, we had a competitor who was developing with great values. Um, so that's for this sector. But I also want to say something totally different. I'm really into sailing. And when I was um, given the topic of today, conquering, I thought that there were five C's in French um, when you talk about conquer. Because in, when you do races, when you sail, for example, there are many different races. And so for me, the first C is about courage. And you'll understand what's the, the link late with entrepreneurship. You need courage because when you are at sea, the weather uh, is not always great. Sometimes there is stream and you need courage. You need to be united. Secondly, the second C is consistent. You need to be consistent. Because once you're in a difficult situation, you need to be resilient. You need to stick to it and it's going to be hard. The third C is choice. You need to choose if you want to quit or if you want to carry on. 
If you want to, to follow the stream or not. So there are choices to make. The third, the fourth C is competition. And the more the competition is hard, the more you grow. And that's absolutely clear. And uh, when you're at sea, when you're sailing, it's essential. You need strong competitors. The more the, uh, the stronger are the competitors, the more you grow and you thrive. And then the last C is the C for trust, confidence. You need to trust yourself. You need to have confidence in what you're doing, in your partners. So that's about these five C's. And that's what I wanted to touch upon today. These are very important values. And I have a question for you. Do you have the right vision uh, in the short term, in the long term, the strategic vision? Thank you very much for listening.